Hello everyone, I am Stu's Benick slash Noise of Carpet and I am back with another shoutcast. Um, today we've got Immortal and Sage of the Six on Kaladni Firma Winter. Uh, it's a short, pretty short game, but but pretty intense. Um, I think you guys all like it. Um, and since I've got a soapbox here, I thought like I was trying. To, I put a post on um, the community forums trying to get more people into one one v one. And I know uh, a lot of the pubbies, as they call them, the public game players, three v three and four v four players, are scared to death of one v one. And uh, yeah, it's pretty it's pretty intense, but. Um, like I said on that post, the one thing about COH two is that the the actual micro skill you need for this is 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 less significantly less I think than Company Heroes um, for a lot of different reasons, most particularly because of sniper micro. But in this game, it's more how do you kill the Soviet sniper? That's the biggest problem. But um. And since we just got done with another little tournament, I wanted to talk a little about, you know, what is it that it takes to play 1v1 well? Um, well, if there's not that big of a skill set, which there actually isn't, because once you learn the game, there's not that much more you can improve. Like little things like retreating earlier and tank micro, those things can be worked on. But what's what's really determining whether you win a game? And I think we saw that in some of the tourney games. It's 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 your psychology. It's, I would say this game is 80% psychology, 20% skill. So, like, if you get a good player in auto match and you get psyched out instantly, you're going to lose. Like, no question. If you're really determined to, like, play well and do well, like, you're probably going to win. And I, I've definitely found that to be the case for my games. Um, but, and, you know, there's this one other little thing about psychology I wanted to talk about because I've been talking about it with a couple of people and everybody seems to do it it's when you're playing and you know you're doing something kind of dumb but you do it anyway because there's a chance that it might work there's a chance or you're frustrated and you go and do some kind of attack that you know you don't have the forces to do but you're really pissed off at that sniper or you're pissed off at that SU-85 and you do it um, even though your like subconscious is telling you not to, you've got this feeling this is a bad idea, but you start to do it. You've got to avoid that in games. You've really got to fight that. If you if you have a feeling like it's not going to work, like listen to your instincts. It's not going to work. It's almost. I don't think there's a time when I've had that feeling and it ended up working. Like whatever I was trying to do. Like, and a good example would be like say on on that new map Longerskaya, like trying to get SU 85s near somebody's base it's not going to work it's just never going to work even if, even if they're damaged and fausted and you've given them damaged engines with with grenadiers the risk is too big it's just too big but you you think you could do it so you try to do it anyway it's just a bad idea anyway uh, that was my little spiel but you know get in there play some 1v1 people it's not that bad. We need more intermediates. There's like 10 experts who play all the time and then um, not enough intermediate level players, I'd say. Anyway, so what do we got today? We got Immortal and Sage of the Six. I wouldn't say they these guys are um, pro level, never seen them win tourneys, but uh, they're both really good players. I've lost to Immortal a couple times. Haven't played Sage of the Six, I think, ever, but he's got a lot of replays up. He's a pretty decent player. Uh, and... Pretty typical starts from here. We've got some conscripts coming out for Sage and Immortals doing the rush the middle thing, which most austere players seem to do like to do these days because they wanna get that ammo very quickly in case clown cars come. You're gonna need to have extra ammo to be Panzerfausting all the time and um, still be able to afford LMGs and things like that. So that's what he's doing. I'm surprised he's not wiring this off. That's a really common tactic now. You wire off the uh, the side facing the your opponent's base so they can't use that for green cover. That's a pretty good tactic. And it looks like both players are going to want to go to the same, the north side of the map. So we should get some uh, conflict here pretty soon as Sage is capping 
the fuel with his engineer squad and he's also put up a little wire just in this yellow cover which is you know sort of iffy but eh, it helps a little bit if you're gonna wire anything off you should probably do that mound right there see this stupid it looks like a looks like a grave it looks like a freshly dug grave to me i don't know what that is or like a turtle with its head stuck in the snow could be it's the it's the snow turtle it's the snow turtle of kolodny ferma you didn't know that, did you? Yeah, it's a, it's a goddamn snow turtle. And if anybody tells you different, they're wrong. Oh, but what is this? So, Sage, I don't know why he just walked away, because most people will pop their engineer then into this building after capping it, but he's just walked away, so now... Immortal's got his PO's up there capping away, and Greater is coming up to support, so he's going to lose that fuel. But Sage is also uh, come is denying him the ammo. He's coming to the middle to cap, and... And he's just sitting in that green cover that wasn't wired off. So this is this fight will just go on for like five years because inf because small arms fire does no damage in COH. And actually, to to be fair, like I played COH one a little bit in the past couple of days too. And and until bars come out, like the infantry damage isn't that insane. Like if you catch some Volks in the open with like two rifle squads, yeah, you'll 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 rip them apart. But you would also rip apart conscripts with two grenadier squads in in like red cover but when stuff's in green cover it it really even in coh1 it does it the damage taken isn't that significant uh so now sage has wisely gotten away he's gonna hold his house for a little bit stall out um he's he has actually gone over here and started capping with another conscript squad so he's getting fuel but Immortal's not because that engineer has somehow escaped from that fuel and is over here <laughs> cutting, cutting him off, but yeah, let's watch this little worker battle see who wins because they're both pretty damaged Somebody's gonna die really quickly here. Oh, and Sage chickening out decides to run the hell out of there um, Let me put this on default view. No, that is default view Because everybody's com some people were complaining about what angles I use Oh, and a f fast flamer from Sage. I wonder if he is going to be getting into a clown car. Oh, yes, he is, because here it comes. And this Grenadier squad's down, down to two guys, but he's going to try and cap it anyway. He might want to be careful, because that's going to die very quickly. So, interestingly, even though Immortal's got his fuel, he's sent all this stuff over to this side. Um, so it looks like what he wanted to do, what he wants to do is probably inst is to try to push up onto uh, Sage's cutoff as soon as he can. And now, you know, Sage knows where the MG is, so this clown car is going to just romp around the back. The MG, let's see if a Faust, Panzer Faust can be fired or not. Yep, yeah, there goes the Panzer Faust. Oh, come on, Grenadier, fire! Stop moving and fire. There you go. Oh, he's fousting it too. See, that's kind of a waste. That's like, I, I think that's a bit of a waste. She, small arms fire could have taken it down pretty fast. So it looked like Immortal's going to survive this initial rush, especially if Sage didn't, I'm surprised Sage didn't try to get the engineer, the uh, MG anyway, because he could have. But instead he's moving back over to this building. Grenadier is coming to try to drive them off. MG's actually already suppressed them. So kind of a bad move by Sage there. I'm not sure what he was thinking. I thought maybe he thought that the MG had already been set up again. Though he should have been able to see where it was. So that's just just a bad move. And Immortal doing a good job over here with his other two-man and Grenadier squad that's been on the field forever. He's, he's, he's capped that VP and he's gone and decapped the uh, fuel point. So good, good micro on Immortal's part to be able to take the opportunity to do that. And a second clown car. What's this one filled with? Is this one still more flamers? Yeah, more flamers. And it looks like I can see on the minimap, Sage also has a sniper out. Oh, this MG's in trouble. He needs to go home. Oh, I guess that engineer's not flamed up. Interesting. Oops. 
And, uh, Immortals just lost a squad. I don't know if that was on retreat, but yeah, that's a great place to put a flamer, NG, because everything is going to use that retreat path, and you might get some uh, flamer criticals as they run home, when I think that's what just happened. I think that was that two-man Grenadier squad. Oh, no, there's the two-man Grenadier squad running back home. So I don't know how that squad died so fast. Mm. We missed that. So sniper out for Sage Cap in the strat point. A the flamer car, I think now with an actual flamer, is back on the field. And the Uber Mortar, so Sage of the Six, has apparently gone for guard motor. And and immortal yet to pick a doctrine. And two MGs out for Immortal, which is uh, kind of a questionable choice, I think, versus Con cars, since he hasn't that, seen that many conscripts. And I'm guessing he doesn't know the snipers there yet. Yeah, I'm, he hasn't seen the sniper. There's been no visibility of it. So he doesn't know what's capping over here. He probably thinks it's a conscript squad. So more sitting in buildings. This is what people like to do in the COH2 these days, because buildings, as, all, as everyone knows, are indestructible fortresses until... They get a random critical and the entire thing collapses from like one mortar hit and everything that's in there dies. So, you know, they're good. They're really good until you get unlucky, essentially. Ah, but a scout car out now for Immortal. So he has teched up. He's gone to tier two. Be, that will counter the clown cars. That will also counter the sniper pretty well. He's taking some damage already on that. I think that might have been a mortar hit. And he's found some conscripts way down here by the fuel. Looks like Sage doesn't have any 18 age yet because he's just sitting there taking it. Lost three guys already. That was a uh, a squad that was not full health at all. And you can see how fast, if you've lost a third of your health, if something, even a scout car comes along, you're gonna start to lose models, as some people say very quickly. And could someone explain it to me? Did I ask this in a shot house already? No one's explained it to me yet. Why do they call them models? They're not models. They're dudes. They're squad members. This isn't some. This isn't like StarCraft or something with you know like Android models of people. These are actual people. Well, they're not actual people, but you know what I mean. And Scout Car doing a fair good bit of damage on the Clown Car. Looks like he got some rear shots in. And this Faust. Oh, I'm surprised that Faust didn't finish it off. He's already at health, half health. So bad luck for uh, for Immortal there, but that Flamer's got to get out of there before his truck goes down. Meanwhile, we have Sage over here. He's found a capping Pio squad and has apparently decimated it already with his Sniper squad. So. Yeah, that PO's got to get out of here. Flamer Pioneer, very good. Counter to snipers, but I don't believe that one had any Flamen Warfare. So not that, not going to be do fair too well. And guards out, of course, for Sage. And what is this scout card doing? It's dying. I think he just drove that right past the guard squad, took a few shots, and died. So, little micro error there. You gotta keep those things back. Good to have your scout cars supported as well. As with any vehicle. Keep some infantry nearby. So, Immortal gonna camp this building here. He's got a mortar of his own and a pack already. But we don't have any teching yet from Sage, so he doesn't really need the pack yet. But it's good to be prepared. I usually make my pack after a Panzer Gun Squad, but it depends on how much fuel I have. Or, like, fuel like he has. And how many cars he's made, because... If he's made three cars, you, you can be, um... You can wait a little bit longer to get AT. And an ammo OP from Sage. That's interesting. What does he want to spam? What can he possibly spam? He can spare, spam crew repairs. I don't really understand this ammo OP, especially given what doctrine he's gone. He's not. He's, he has no bombing runs. He has no strafing runs. He has uh, no incendiary barrage with guard motor. So I'm not really sure why he did that. It'd be 
very curious as to why he find out why he did that. A uh, little bit of fight over here, little bit of a fight over here. Looks like the Soviets are outnumbered, but there's a sniper in back picking away. Oh, and Conscript Squad goes down for Sage of the Sick. But this sniper squad is probably going to get one more shot in before it has to retreat. Oh god. Yeah, you need to run. Run! Get home, sniper. There he goes. Going to run right past the uh, Panzer Grants. Oh, but the clown car is here to save the sniper. Otherwise, I'm, that would have almost certainly gone down from the Panzer Grand fire if this clown car hadn't arrived in time. So I'm not sure if this was just if that was something Sage of the Six planned. Like you never know with good players whether they are have lured somebody in just to get some kills, which might again been, been the case there, keeping the sniper there so long. But it's a risky lure. I mean, it's a sniper. That's a 360 man power unit. Pack moving over. Can you get a shot off? I know, I hate that. You know it's there right behind the hedge, but you can't fire. And he can't fire there from where he moved it, so now he's got to move it back. Sometimes I hate true sight. And no, he can't get a... F oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh. Oh, man. Oh, that engineer squad just didn't even know it hit it. And they're just, just toast. And they dropped their flamethrower. So very nice. I guess that was hidden by the fog of war, or Sage is just really stupid because uh, that con car should not have gone down to that pack. But possibly it was totally hidden. Can he see over there? We have, I don't know. I think he, maybe he actually didn't see that pack at all. So unfortunate happenstance for Sage. Sniper in the building. Oh, it, it, wow. It took a surprising amount of damage from that MG42, given the range. But it is returning fire. MG moving back. Getting mortared, too. Maybe he'll get a lucky building hit. Oh. Still didn't kill a guy. Where is the sniper, anyway? Where are you, sniper? Can't even see you. That is a big hole in that building. Oh, and the sniper is getting back out, anyway. Cute little engagement. Scout car, new scout car out. Running away from the conscripts, which almost certainly have 18 age, or at least Sage wants him to think he has 18 age, which is a good trick you can play on your opponent too. Same as in COH, people, you might run at a Puma that you weren't expecting to make it think you have sticky, make the guy think you have sticky, so he backs off. And he was lured into the welcoming, welcoming arms of Immortals MG42, now sitting on the victory point. Flamer, not going to fare very well once again, that scout car, but oh wow, that scout car is really low. Mortar going off, Sniper badly needs some healing. Certainly looks like Sage has not gotten healing up in his base yet, nope. So I wonder what Sage's plan is here, because he's got no... He's got a decent amount of fuel now, I'm sure. 254 fuel, I believe he might be going for... Uh, T-3485s, but he needs a lot more manpower. So he's gonna have to really be careful with his troops, not to, um... Let them get whittled down too much. Because if he lets them get whittled down, he won't have... Be able to maintain map control if he doesn't reinforce. Uh, but if he does reinforce after they take a lot of losses, he's not going to be able to get his T-34s. And a uh, really good MG movement on uh, Immortals part, I think. Um, anticipating where his enemy is likely to go next. First he put it on that VP point, was able to lure squad in. Now he's moved it back to this building because the fuel was undefended for a bit. And so he moved it back there and was able to, to pin that guard squad pretty easily. And now being recapped by now the two grenadiers and a Panzergrin squad. And a bit of camping in the middle, in the building. Sage is trying to get back some fuel here with his guards. 
Another two-man grenadier squad. Wow, Immortal seems to really like capping with two-man grenadier squads. This guy is, is hurt. He needs medical attention. They will bravely cap. Despite the fact. MG getting mortared from way back here with 120. Which looks like it's lost a few crew members to the scout car, I suspect. And what do we got over there? Oh, we got an Oval Blitz truck. So we do have a doctor now. Didn't notice that. We have assault support from Immortal. So that gives him the Oval Blitz trucks, the Tiger, artillery officer that nobody likes, a fragmentation bomb, and strafing. Yet another clown car. Oh, 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 that was, that was a good bit of RNG there. Uh, you got hit by the mortar and chased by the flamer. That probably caused two criticals, caused an entire squad wipe, wipe there on retreat. Very nasty, very nasty for, and very bad for Immortal. Though he still has two Panzer Crane squads left. Another clown car goes down with the inhabitants. Cause Sage's not really doing well with with his uh, clown cars today. Uh, given the squad the squad losses from having those destroyed when he didn't get them out in time, I think he's actually um, actually on the losing end of of that um, that matchup. Uh, what's the word for it? You know the basically I'm talking about the choices they made. You know. His clown cars did not do more damage than they cost, so that's been a bad trade-off. 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 That's the word. Yeah, think. I went to college. I should know that word. Um, what do we got? Pack still in the middle. Guard squad being engaged by these grenadiers. Vet 2 now. With an MG's in support. But some conscripts hurrying up. They should be trying to flank that MG. There they go. Does he have Molotovs? I don't think he has Molotovs though. But it's a two-man MG that should actually die. For once, we might see an MG die from small arms fire. Come on, die. Die. No! And he gets it. Very nice, very nice. And captures himself an MG42 for his trouble. The scout car is back over here harassing this really annoying 120 millimeter mortar squad. But guards coming to fend it off. The second guard squad. And I think when did when did Sage lose his sniper? He had a sniper, but I don't see the sniper. So he lost his sniper. Oh, and look what's on the field. T thirty fours, T thirty fours. They're just they have nice long guns. They kind of remind me of some kind of bird because they've got these really long, like thin gun things that don't they look like pea shooters don't they they're just totally pea shooters uh let's see what he can do with these. they're they're not bad versus infantry they're a little better versus tanks for the cost i think they're i don't think they're worth the cost really but especially if you don't have any harder at to back them up with i mean this is um uh sage's only at at the moment and what do we got over here? Do we have anything? Oh, uh, Immortal's got one PZ4. He's also got a pack. So, though Sage seems to Sage is using these as a shock unit. He's really pushing them up a lot. Uh, Immortal still has the tools to deal with them. Pack pack is being moved over. PZ4 is about to pop out. So let's see how this engagement goes. Oh, there goes the scout car. Faust off on 1 T34. That's going to make it a sitting duck for this pack. And the Panzer IV is out. And with both T34s, Faust, this should be a fairly easy battle now for Immortal. 
AT gun's probably gonna go down. The AT gun goes down, but Panzer Fort is in support and getting a lot of good rear shots in on this T-34. Not looking really good for Sage right now. I'm glad he went. A, I'm glad he tried something different than spamming SU-85s, but uh, this is the reason why people spam SU-85s instead of T-34s. You can use them at range, uh, basically SU-85s. They they're not they don't do anything versus infantry, but they counter every bit of Axis armor on the field, except perhaps an elephant, my new favorite unit, by the way. And what is this guy doing here? Is he just is he trying to hide? I think he's hiding. He's hidden. Yeah, look at this. He's trying to ambush. Oh, recon run as revealed. And Immortal revealed it, so he knew it was there. So good attempt at an ambush, but Recon Run has foiled Sage's clever plans. And this PZ4, even though it's getting shot in the ass, is going to finish off that T-34 with help from the pack. Uh, so looking really bad for, for Sage right now with no other harder AT out to counter the Panzer IV, except he's got two guard squads and his stolen MG-42. And his Uber Mortar, which can actually do a bit of damage to armor, believe it or not. Um, but other than that, I would say this is looking problematic. Whoa. And that guard squad just got fucked by a mortar. Oh, look at that. Three poor guys with their capes. I wonder if they just use their capes as burial shrouds. It's like you could totally just, you know, if he's already got a cape, then you don't need a burial shroud anymore. You can just wrap him up in his cape and bury him. They probably want it that way anyway. Because they are the guards and they are elite. Another scout guard. I don't know if it's the same scout guard's got a bit now. Nice vetted force from Immortal now with two double. Uh, a fair bit of vet. Certainly compared to Sage, who seems to be not getting any vet on any of his units. And Scatcar moving in to shoot. What is he sh looking to shoot? An OP. Guard squad. <laughs> Trying to engage a Panzer IV, but not having much luck. And another Panzer IV is moving out. Uh, and still no hard AT from Sage. He probably could have back teched to support weapons, but he hasn't done it. He could have up teched to... Oh, he is. He's doing it right now. He's trying to get support weapons up so he can get an AT gun out, but I think it might be way too late. Panzer IV is doing a number on this MG, stolen MG42. That's about to go down. Yeah, yeah but he beats, he gets out of there just in the nick of time. Scout car, still no 18 aids from Sage. So, uh, very strange build order. Not really sure what he was expecting to accomplish with just guards. Abandoned armored car, but I don't think you would want to crew those with guards because they cost a lot to reinforce. Gets hit by a stray shot and is out of there anyway. And fuel situation now back, swinging back for Immortal. And he's also got Sage cut off over here. Pack moving up, MG moving up. Looking to put the nail in the coffin. Victory points now also in Immortal's position as well. And what can Sage do about this? He does have the, his support weapons up. He's probably producing an AT gun. Mm, yeah. But I would think it's probably GG. As these Sage is running up once more, but being suppressed by the MG, Panzer IV is taking shots at everything, guard suppressed, AT gun firing on the MG, but unless he gets a lucky hit on this building, I think it's over.
And in the thick Russian winter, the Panzer Fallers heroically advance to a victory for the Reich. Once again. Nah, it's not like it always happens. Panzer 4 is backing off because they know there's an ET gun now, and it looks like Immortal's just gonna wisely hang back a little bit on his GPs, wait for Sage to give up. She should be doing it any second now. AT gun still firing at. I'm not sure what it's firing at. He could use barrage on this building. That might take it down faster. Oh, a big branch from that tree just hung out. Somebody's gonna have to clean that up. Let me swing the viewpoint around. So we don't have branches in our way. AT gun moving up. MG getting shot. Oh, good hit from the AT gun. He got the side armor, but replay over. Sage calls it quits. And uh, so, you know, not a bad little game. Mostly a game of maneuvering. Uh, I think Sage would, Sage was brave to go for the T-34-85s without any kind of other AT other than guard squads. And if he'd managed to deny fuel to Immortal for longer, I think it might have worked because they would have done a good number on his infantry as well as any light vehicles he had. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, Immortal was able to fend him off, keep control of the fuel long enough to get the Panzer IV and the pack out, and that was basically GG after you take a couple of fousts. Uh, so yeah, T3 once again, showing why the metagame is what it is when you try to do anything different other than SU-85s or... Um, there is one other strat I do like, but may, hopefully we'll, I'll find a replay um, showing it um, better. Um for Soviets, but yeah, if you don't get SU-85s, you're screwed. That's why everybody just goes SU-85s. All right, everybody, hope you like the replay and the cast, and I will be back in a few days with another one. Thanks very much. Bye-bye. And send any replays you might want to be casted. I'm thinking of doing some new replays, uh, beginner replays, um, to stuzbenik1 at gmail.com. Bye-bye.